I took an amazing adventure to Greenland with Professor Jeffrey Welker. We met with scientists exploring how ecosystems function in the far north, the Arctic. Jeff took a dozen of the scientists at Thule away from their research to show us a remote valley that he'd been studying for decades. Hammering through rough, frigid seas, dodging icebergs, and finally making a heroic beach landing, we came to Green Valley, where we camped for a couple of days. Far away from anything except for nature, our attention couldn't help but be swallowed up by questions about how this ecosystem works. Why wonder? At the top of the Arctic, how can we have a valley brimming with vibrant vegetation that even support huge animals like muskox? This isn't normal, and because of this, the valley presented an isolated outdoor laboratory that Jeff's curiosity could not pass up. One of the things that we're seeing here is exceedingly lush vegetation. We've got a grass species here that shows very high levels of productivity. There's moss underlying this. We've got a very rich system here that's different than the surrounding landscape that is very polar desert or polar semi-desert like. Why is it that this habitat is so lush compared to the surrounding landscapes? And how long has it been different than these other areas is one of our primary concerns as part of this research. What is it that's actually delivering these nutrients to make the grass so green and to allow this ecosystem to support large herbivores? One of the golden rules of ecosystem ecology is that nutrients are transported from the land to the ocean by rivers. In Green Valley, these are different landscapes. And one of the places we need to look for the cycling of nutrients is the sky. It's the seabirds that feed in the ocean, that nest in the surrounding cliffs, they defecate in those areas, those nutrients leach into the surrounding habitat, the nutrients fertilize the grass, and it's those nutrients from the ocean delivered by the seabirds that allow these landscapes to support muskox. Understanding how unusual environments work is fascinating. The ins and outs, the exploration, but it also awakens us to how wild and ingenious nature really is. In this beauty of Green Valley is an unusual and very sensitive system. Normal rules just don't apply. To understand what makes these areas tick takes a lot of consideration. Green Valley is a very special place to me uh, here in the high Arctic. It's an area that represents the essence of cycles with the land connected to the ocean and the ocean connected to the land with the seabirds. Green Valley, like many places in the Arctic, is threatened today. These are very tightly woven cycles of life. We have birds that are potentially threatened in the lower part of the globe. And if those birds don't return to this area, then we've fractured the way this system works. If the landscape and the ice is lost someday, then the transport of nutrients to the ocean doesn't occur anymore. So it's these types of changes in the way the system works that we're interested in measuring, monitoring, and understanding. 